So this is going over installing the unique off-road products, frame buffer doors. I have partially installed my passenger side and I'll show you how to do the driver's side. Well, just want to go over some things. Watch the whole video first and then install it. So let's get to it. This is the hardware your doors will come with. Obviously, some of it's already installed. So you're going to have four gas struts. You're going to have another pair of these brackets. Um, the shorter one is the front bracket. The longer one is for the rear door. You're going to have eight sets of roll cage mounting brackets and also eight safety clips. You're going to have a bag of hardware to mount those and those are 11 millimeter. You're going to have these bolts here which are used to secure these guys and those are um, 10 millimeter. You're going to have four of these so four of these and four of these and these are 13 millimeter you're going to have some some rivets you're going to have two brackets here's one you you're going to have another one like it that's for the other side you have a total of four of these and a total of four of these and you'll have various spacers these spacers are for the nipples these spacers are for the pucks okay you're going to need it's not a warm day you might need a heat gun on low or a safer bed is to use a hair dryer either a towel or a moving blanket just to protect your door while you're installing it a rivet gun magnetic pickup tool for when you drop stuff a t40 torx bit or equivalent allen key uh, small micro screwdriver, 14 millimeter wrench, a regular Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. I have this tape here, which is included in the kit, but I like to use it for anything that touches my painted surface so it doesn't smar it up. You could use this for your windshield too, where it touches the paint. So I have that. I'll put a link in the description some various wood pieces to either prop the roof up or give you some leverage or when you have to align these roof brackets sometimes just tapping it with this helps and rubber mallet tape measure and your your impact wrench and a drill bit and they provide a 3 16th drill bit with the kit and I'll show you that later. Inspect all your items. Make sure your doors, when they arrive, that the most destructive forces on the earth, your shipping company, has destroyed them. Um, the first thing you want to do is remove your, your your window insert because you're going to have to move, put your hand through and manipulate stuff. It's a, a lot easier to install these without the window insert and um, it's just velcroed in okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to install these nipples and this is used for keeping the door latched so trying to do this on the vehicle with the doors installed is uh, nearly impossible so you want to install these while the doors are off I have my nipple here. I'm going to take my bolt and insert it. I take one of my spare 10 millimeter nuts and insert it so it bottoms out. I have a spacer here that goes on. And you should only need one spacer. He provides more. Okay. So I have that. I take my nut here and put them in a pair of adjustable channel locks or you can use pliers and i'm going to hold that there while i screw it in ok 
Okay, and you just want it hand tight for now. Once you have it aligned, we'll tighten this, tighten this up. Just remove your nut. Now this is the front door. The rear door is a lot easier to do. So the rear door is a lot easier to do because this plastic is flexible and you can get your fingers behind there. Same process, one spacer. And just hand tight. And then remove your insert. And we'll tighten that up later on final adjustment. So next we're gonna install these gas strut support brackets. You have a front and you have a rear. I have them held in place with the rivets that I haven't installed yet. For the front, you'll have a notch here, okay? A notch is to clear that weld, all right? So the notch goes towards the bottom on the front. The rear bracket, when it's installed correctly, it'll match up with this plastic. That's upside down. See how this ball doesn't match up with this? So you have it installed that way, turn it around. So now I'm just gonna install my rivets. Make sure they're bonded out all the way. So once you have your top and bottom rivets installed, you have two options. You can take your 3 16 drill bit and drill these holes through the roll cage and install rivets there. Okay. But if you're like me and you're queasy about drilling your roll cage, there's an alternate solution. So the no drill solution is to take a worm clamp two inch and simply install it around both clamps. And you can see I went underneath the plastic here. So that's nice and secure. That's not going anywhere. So next you wanna take your uh, T40 and your 14 millimeter and remove this uh, this bolt. And we're gonna reuse these wavy washers for the install of the uh, bracket. So now we're going to install our bracket. Wavy washers go on the inside. Now this is a tight fit, so
where a screwdriver can come in handy to align it. There. And the reason for this tight fit is so these stay in alignment. So now tighten this up. Okay, and this is really important that you do it this way, the two washers in the inside, because that maintains the alignment of these brackets. So now we're going to install our pucks and spacers. I noticed on the rear I had used five spacers, and on the front I used to use four. So I'm going to install my bolt. Five spacers on the rear, and you just want this hand tight. You don't want this super tight to begin with, so you can do alignment later. Get my front. And do four spacers, and then install my puck. Once again, just hand tight so this can move around for alignment. And you can do a final adjustment once the doors are installed. Next, I'm going to take some tink seal and I'm going to lubricate both the puck as well as the uh, nipple that goes inside. And you want to lubricate it real well so it goes in and out. I don't want to draw any sexual <laughs> innuendos, but make sure that it's lubed up properly. Make sure you get inside the cavity. I always reuse this. I keep this rag handy because I use that for lubricating stuff like this. And I'll do the nipples on the uh, on the doors. So ignore the fact that I already have these installed. This is how you install the brackets. The uh, one with the ears on it, you have a flat piece here and then a curved end. The flat piece is towards the inside, okay? So you're gonna take two carriage bolts Install them. You're going to take the other end, which is symmetrical. And you're going to install your bolts. It's hard for me to do right now because I've been out here for probably three hours and my hands are getting cold. But the lighting's better. Okay, and then do the same with the bottom.
and just snug them up. You just want to snug them just enough to where the carriage bolt engages the uh, square. But you want them loose enough to where you can move them around. All right, so I have my clamps already installed. I just want to show you the measurements for these clamps. So when you go to install them, you have a good ballpark. So you have the roll cage mount here. From that to the bracket, it's about half an inch, okay? So once you have this in place, the front bracket, this is a front door now, the front bracket is about 8.75 inches. Get these installed at those locations, and you go in to install your door, you can fine tune it, but this is a good ballpark for the front door. So the rear door, your measurements from this rear crossbar bracket, you're about just shy of three quarters of an inch okay and then once you have this in place the rear bracket to the front bracket distance is seven and a quarter of inches the next step is going to take my door and I'll line it up with that nipple actually going to insert it in the nipple that's going to help hold it in for you. And I'm going to insert my safety pins. And this uh, nipple, actually, this new latch system makes it a lot easier to do this with one person because it holds it in for you. There we go. Slam that in, and then I'll just adjust this. I'll check the gaps. Where I'm happy. This is where the wood and mallet come in handy. So you can adjust your clock. It looks like on the driver's side, I could probably use, I could lose a spacer on here because it's, it doesn't need as much. So I'm going to take my, uh, my impact.
I haven't locked those down yet. And then if you're done, you can just pry this up and insert the uh, locks that way. But so far this is looking good. I'm gonna remove one spacer here. So once you're happy with the alignment and you know you're happy with the latching, take your 10 millimeter wrench and tighten this bolt for the nipple. And then take your 13 millimeter wrench and go to the back side and tighten it. And then just recheck, make sure it's, it's in good alignment. Finally, we're going to take our hydraulic cylinder and install it. Just snaps on. And that's it. The new latching system is really nice. So rear door is basically the same as the front. And once you install everything and you want to tighten it up, just take your 13 millimeter wrench and snug that up. And then don't forget to tighten your 10 millimeter bolt there for the, for the nipple. Just a note on the passenger side for the nipple and the front door, there's a slot and then a hole. You want to use the hole and not the slot. Just a tip installing your windows. Start at the opposite corners. And they'll fit a lot better.